we used to do, Nathan, in the, uh, the late 70s, early 80s. Oh. All the family would gather around the Rank Arena TV on at 6 o'clock on a Sunday yeah. night. What do we used to do? We'd sit down and watch Rugby League Weekly tonight. Oh, Have a look at this. <laughs> there was once a time when the local Rugby League anchor reigned supreme. A time when people only tuned in once a week for all their footy news. And the show they turned to was called Rugby League Weekly Tonight. A show of integrity, class and expensive whiskey. You'd be hard pressed to find any league fan not glued to their set every Tuesday at 5pm. And one household that never missed an episode was here in the New South Wales coal mining town of Cessnock, where a man, his wife and their two dim-witted sons are settling down for the evening. Oh, what a day. <laughs> hey, Dar, bang is a mess tonight? Sure thing, sweetie. So what about for dinner, eh? Oh, stop it, you hunk of spunk. Still got it. Andrew, put your brother down. You're always carrying him around. Here's your beer and you're a mouth, doll. Oh, you f***ing beauty. I can't miss the start of my favourite show. Hey, you idiots. Sit up and shut up. <laughs> Joey, stop carrying him. Hello and welcome to the number one rugby league show in the world, Rugby League Weekly Tonight. I'm your host, Gene Bourge. Tonight on the show, the man with the flowing golden locks will give our young viewers some tips on recycling. Money Bella's going to call in with his regular segment, Don't Be a Smart Ass, and Manly Daly's chief rugby league reporter, Dean Ritchie, will disclose his secrets to picking up older women. <laughs> But first, a quick shout out to our sponsors, VB Beer, Why Stop at Nine, and Misty's Massage. Be <laughs> be <laughs> be satisfied. And let's meet the panel on my left. Well, he's the man with the golden touch, ladies and gentlemen, Dickie Winners. Hey, Dickie. Hey. Thanks, Gene. Uh, it's swell to be here. And the man on my right, the man who is the best in the business, always got his nose to the ground, so to speak. Randy Pecker. Randy, what's going on, brother? Thanks, Gene. Dickless. I mean, Dickie. F off. You f off. And tonight as well, we have uh, the number one writer for Rugby League in the Daily Mirror. The man's so good, he only has one name. Welcome, Fuzz. <laughs> Welcome, hey. Fuzz. Hey, are we on? <laughs> Welcome, Fuzz. You're on. Where's Sue? Sue's not here. Who's Sue? I need a water bottle. I need a water bottle. Great stuff. Snuff. No, no, great stuff. Snuff. Stuff. Stuff. It's great stuff. It's in the car. I've got a VHS in the car. I said stuff. Stuff, Fuzz. Stuff. Uh, can someone please turn his f***ing microphone off? Put some pants on. Well, now it's time for my new segment, one that'll never grow old. It's called The Eye Catchers. What caught your restless eye this week, Dickie? Well, Gene, I saw this clean, fair tackle over the weekend. I almost had <laughs> all throughout my <laughs> uh, Roll the tape, director. Wayne Smith, oh, he's decked him. He's off. Oh, well done. I love that very much, Dickie. Aim low and just rip the head off. Shout out again to Missy's Massage. Well, Gene, that reminds me of a time when I was Yeah, terrific, Randy. Randy. Just give us the eye catchers, can you? Well, for me, guys, you know what it was? A good old-fashioned spear tackle. Nothing better than watching a blow get upended and driven face first into the turf. That really got me hot and bothered. Mm. Oh, word. Yeah. What a idiot. Sorry? should see his missus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue five. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that one for later. <laughs> Put that in the pocket. And Fuzz, what caught your eye? Fuzz, what caught your eye? Fuzz? Where's the count? This one? 
Oberon and Mudgy, I saw this. A good old Malay. It's Malay. It's Malay. A good old Malay. It's Malay fuzz. Oh, Oberon and Mudgy. Yeah, you've said that. Yeah. You've said yeah, that. Yeah, it, it was a good old Malay. Malay. Melly. Yeah, Francis. It's French. Yeah. It is. Mm. French kiss. Well, there are truly some huge games this weekend. Let's have a look at what's on offer. Rugby league, the greatest f***ing game of all. And this weekend, we've got some humdingers. Like this one between the dogs and the eels. Check out these blokes. Bert, Sturlow, Ray Price. What about him? The young dogs are barking, led by this kid, Terence Lamb. Don't forget that name. And then we head to Leichhardt, where a guy called Bundy will look to punch the heads off the Tigers. Yep, Hemsley, Hardwick, and the bloke they call Blocker. What about this guy? But don't forget the Bears will also be up against the Wankers from Manly. But who gives a f about them? So strap yourself in, crack a fresh one, enjoy the smooth nicotine taste of a Winnie Blue and watch some footy. Here we f***ing go. Well, if that doesn't send chills up your spine, you're probably dead. Now it's time to introduce a, a young fellow who's doing some pretty special things at the Harbour Devils. Little Stevie Menzies. Welcome, little Stevie. Mm, thanks, Mr Bush. You look like a cat. Oh, thank you, Mr Pecker. It's Randy Pecker to you. Thank you. Little Stevie, congratulations. Uh, are you keen to ply your trade in the New South Wales Rugby League one day? Yeah, I just I love scoring tries and um, yeah, hopefully I can just show my defensive skills. <laughs> what? You defence? Randy, please. You need size to be a good defensive. Look at me. Look at this. Check this out. Size. It's a snap blokes like you. Yes, Mr Becker. Sorry you had to hear that, little Steve. Mm, I, I told you, Gene, don't have him on. Shut it, you curly head f <laughs> Now, little Stevie, who are you keen to play for one day? Uh, the Maggies, the Doggies, the Steelers. I'm pretty keen to, to stay at home and represent my, my local club, Manly. Well, good on you, Stevie. Uh, really, you liked your uh, debut performance. I know you're going to play a lot more first grade in the New South Wales Rugby League. Good on you. Mm, thanks, Mr Bush. Thanks, boys. OK, it's time to put the kettle on because uh, we're going to talk all things Queensland Rugby League with our correspondent up there, Mr Booger Johnston. So, Booger, what is happening with the... Oh, Brisbane Rugby League. Thanks, Gene. A massive breaking story. Excellent, Booger. Always love your work. Anyway, good night to all. And as Gene Bush always says, f you, Queensland. Oh, yeah, f you real good. Well, I reckon that was pretty good. Pretty good show. Great what do you reckon, show. Diggy? Excellent. Great show. Great show. Really, really good. So should we go and uh, go and squash? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what about Ken's? Ken's is open. I wouldn't mind a running <laughs> coot. Oh, can I come? Sorry, no. Blow. Blow. <laughs> Blow. Yeah, yeah. Said no. Stay. No. Ray. No. <laughs> oh, he's not wearing pants again. Where are your pants? Where are your gone, pants, Fuzz? Fuzz? God. Oh, no. Sue! Can someone find him some pants? That's it, boys. That's rugby league television. One day, that might be you. Now go and give me another beer. Neighbours is about to start. Hey, Dale, can I get some sticky date? Sure can, love. And how about some dessert, too? Oh, you devil. We still got it, Gazza. <laughs> nice one, boys. Big thank you to Mum and Dad, yes, too. Very, yeah. very you good. You don't realise how accurate that is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice work, boys. Simpler times, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. simpler, much, yeah. much simpler.